Being a business leader or entrepreneur is one of the most demanding and difficult roles a person can take on. It consists of countless ups and downs, wins, losses, and regrets that can serve as valuable lessons not only for yourself, but also others on a similar journey. Let me share with you 10 regrets that entrepreneurs could face even after they've long left their businesses. Regret number one, and that is not taking enough personal time. Now, we all know that it's important that you focus on yourself. As an entrepreneur, it's important that you are making time for yourself, for your own well-being, and also your family. You can't just go day in, day out, running uh, into your business or to your office, and then spending you know, hours and hours of time in the office. You've got to make enough personal time for yourself. The second regret most entrepreneurs face, and that is executing ideas too quickly. And what does that mean? Sometimes you've got a great idea, but you don't do any market research. You don't get a second opinion. You just jump straight into that idea and you try and focus and put all your effort into it. And it goes back to regret number one. It's not taking that personal time. You've got this great idea and all you want to do is make it a, a reality. And then you pour hour after hour after hour into it and you don't succeed. So when it comes to executing on your ideas, you want to make sure that you've got a clear plan. You've done strategy, um, the, the strategy behind that. You, you understand what tactics is involved. You can use items such as a business model canvas to test that idea as well. So it's important. Execute fast, but make sure that you do so with a plan. The third regret a lot of entrepreneurs have, and that is putting revenue over profit. They're just chasing sale, chasing sale, chasing sales, and they're not focused on the actual profit at the end of the day. It reminds me of a, of, of a great story my dad used to share with me. So my dad was an entrepreneur as well. And he spoke about how him and his brother were partners. And his brother focused on sales and he was focused on the operations and the production um, in their manufacturing business. And his, and his brother used to just go out and make sale after sale. And he'd sell to sometimes the wrong customers. And he'd be like, yeah, but we made a sale. And my dad would say to him, yeah, but that customer is a bad payer or, or that customer, uh, the, the amount of effort and time to produce what that customer needs is going to far outweigh, you know, the profit that we would be making. So you can't just think about the sales. You've got to understand what's the profit at the, at the end of the, the day as well. Another regret that most entrepreneurs uh, face at some times in their lives, and that's blaming others for their setbacks. You know, blame the staff or blame their spouse or blame the customer, blame the supplier. Ultimately, as a business leader, the, the buck stops with you. You are the leader. You determine what happens in the business and what doesn't happen in the business. And you can't blame others for those kind of setbacks. You can't blame them if things don't go right or doesn't work out for you. So you've got to make sure that you, you accept responsibility and you focus on solutions to those issues and problems, as opposed to pointing the finger and blaming others for that. The fifth regret a lot of entrepreneurs can face, and that is failing to support or hold on to talented staff. Staff are critical. They can make or break your business. And if you've got skilled staff, you've got talented staff, you wanna make sure that you support them and you hold on to them as well. Now, sometimes you do need to let go of um, staff that are not the right fit for your company, for your culture, and it's important. You focus on, you know, um, do they get your company's values? Do they fall in line with the company's missions? You know, um, <clears throat> so it's important. But if you've got great staff, you should be bending over to support them, making sure that you're providing ways for them to upskill themselves if need be. Or at times, they may need personal time as well. How can you support them in that, knowing that they are valuable to your company and organization? So a lot of people, um, you know, <clears throat> want to want to say no one is irre irreplaceable. Sometimes, you know, holding on to great staff is important because they could go off somewhere else and form a new company or join a competitor, and then you are in trouble. So hold on to your talented and loyal staff that uh, add value and bring value back to your business. And I think that's more important. Another regret that a lot of entrepreneurs face 
um, when they, you know, building and growing and scaling a business is ignoring feedback. You've got to take feedback on both positive and negative because that's how you improve. Sometimes a lot of products are actually created or services are, are brought to market because of feedback that they heard, negative feedback from a customer. You, you find out what, what works and what doesn't work. So it's important to take on feedback, both positive and negative. And what's important is to make it easy for either your customers or even your staff to provide that feedback. Ask them regularly about you know, the, the quality of your services, the quality of the delivery, um, and a range of other things that you can do to gain feedback. Feedback is, um, is, 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 is almost a lifeblood sometimes to a, a business, and especially during times such as we are experiencing now, with so much disruption happening in the world, you need to have um, the right feedback on what you need to be doing to get yourself moving back on track and moving forward. Another regret a lot of entrepreneurs have is they do not ask for help when it is needed. That is so, so important. Asking help, seeking out a mentor or a coach or someone that, that has experience in that, just asking them for, for their help. Some entrepreneurs think about, you know what, I shouldn't let someone else do my, do my books because then they're gonna know everything about my business. No, get someone else to do that because they might have an outsider's opinion on that as well. They can guide you and help you if you need if you need help, things aren't adding up, the numbers aren't making sense, you're not making a profit, well, you need to go and seek help. Production is, you're struggling with productivity and, and producing products in a timely manner, it's cost, and, and you know, obviously cost goes up when, when production and productivity is low. Well, what do you need to do? You need to ask for help. Get professional help, get expert help as well. Most important, and it's one of the biggest regrets that I've come across that a lot of entrepreneurs face. Regret number eight, and that is refusing to abandon poor projects, right? Many times entrepreneurs just have this ego or this pride that they do not want to let go of these projects that are performing really bad. It's sucking the business dry, it's eating up all the cash flow, it's eating up resources, the business is struggling, but they pursue with these projects, these failing projects. And a lot of it comes down to pride and just comes down to ego. Just and, and try, you know, refusing to admit that it was the wrong decision. We should never have done this project or it's time to call it quits. This project is not working. Move on. So another big regret. And this one could sometimes bring down a very profitable, thriving business when you chase after poor performing projects as well. Regret number eight is not having a clear backup plan. Nothing runs smoothly. And in business, it's guaranteed that there's going to be problem after problem. If you find a solution for that problem, you'll find another problem will stick its ugly head out. You need to have a backup plan and you've got to have sometimes a backup plan number C as well, or backup plan C. So this is also a regret. Businesses go in and they build these great business plans and you know things don't work out, they don't have a contingency plan. They don't have that backup plan. Backup plans could be some, something like having cash reserves, putting aside some money in case a project that you're working on is, um, is, is utilizing a lot more resources uh, than you thought. So you've got a backup plan to, uh, to keep that project on, on, on target and, and at pace as well. And bear in mind, remember uh, regret number eight, Make sure that you get rid of poor performing projects. And then finally, the last regret that I find most business owners have, and that is burning bridges. It's one of the worst things that you can do, right? You, you may have a, a, a fallout with a supplier or a fallout with a customer, and you decide, that's it, I'm just gonna cut all times, I'm not gonna wanna do anything, do any business with that person ever again, or that organization, or that company. And burning bridges. You never know when you may need to go back to that company for whatever reason. So, you know, always think of how can I mend the problem? Because in business, there's always issues and problems and there's always disagreements and arguments. But find a way to resolve it and find a way to 
uh, uh, you know, if you have to part part ways on good terms, but try not to completely burn that bridge and destroy any opportunity of being able to, you know, go back in a time of, of need. Sometimes it might not even be you in the position where you're in need, but maybe the other person might be in need and you are willing and able to support and help them. But because you've burnt that bridge, the other person may not want to come out and reach out to you. So there you go. There are 10 regrets that business leaders and entrepreneurs could face when they are trying to grow and scale a business. Hopefully you don't make any of them.